The Closet Jedi here with another Star Wars action figure review. Today we'll be reviewing a vintage collection. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Clone Trooper 501st Legion, also known as Vader's Legion. Okay, this is VC-60. On the front you have an image of a 501st Legion Trooper. On the cover, I'm assuming this is most likely from the Revenge of the Sith Episode 3 movie there's a you could win a life-size Darth Maul statue signed by George Lucas and more you got the Kenner vintage logo and you have the actual stormtrooper he comes with two accessories he comes with a blaster pistol and blaster rifle he's super articulated looks like he has um, articulation in the ankles in the knees in the wrist and elbows, the waist and torso, shoulders, as well as the fact that he comes with a removable helmet. And I will be adding, having to be taking this one out of the packaging because I love real um, clone troopers with removable helmets. Okay, let's take a look at the back. This is VC-60, Vintage Collection number 60 of the Star Wars Vintage Collection. Clone Trooper, it's got the usual paragraph in the back. As well as an image of the first time, or the last time, this uh, Clone Trooper was released. Part of the Revenge of the Sith line. Okay, Vader's Legion. From 2004-2006. I actually own this action figure. I've got him right here and we're just going to do a quick comparison. In close-up you can see that his feet are pretty well weathered and dirty. Okay, They did a good job of making him look pretty distressed okay he has black markings around them showing from battle battle wear I have him with a pistol Let's take a look at the back oops taking a look at the back Got some pretty nice detailing there. Okay. And his helmet can come off. For your standard clone trooper head sculpt. Okay, and so this was the Revenge of the Sith version. As you can see, the most obvious difference is going to be in the fact that his feet and boots are pretty dusty, I suppose. They're dirty. Okay, he has quite a lot of uh, battle wear in terms of these black markings across his figure. Okay. I'll probably be updating this video at some point when I actually open up this figure and do a comparison. But uh, for right now, I just kind of wanted to do the packaging for now. And so uh, stay tuned for a future review where I actually take it off. Um, this trooper does indeed, the helmet does indeed come off. The main difference seems to be that this one is pretty, pretty clean, as opposed to the more beat up Revenge of the Sith one. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for a future update to this video where I added another couple of, uh, another minute or so with a, this action figure out of its packaging. 
So this was VC60 and the Closet Jedi signing out. Thank you.